This is an application of the systems of nonlinear equations. And for this video, we're going to solve this problem. And the idea is, kailangan natin mag-represent or i-represent yung mga conditions nitong problem na to using um, variables such as x and y. And then we'll form equations and then we'll solve it using the usual way that we solve uh, systems of nonlinear equations. Pwedeng by elimination, pwedeng by substitution, or pwedeng by graphing. Okay. The problem is, this, the square of a certain number exceeds twice the square of another number by 1 over 8. Also, the sum of their squares is 5 over 16. Find the possible pairs of numbers that satisfy these conditions. So let's start with uh, talking about the first two numbers. Actually, dalawa lang naman yung pinag-uusapan natin. So let's say um, we let the first number to be x. So we say we let we let a be the first number first number since wala tayong alam tungkol dun sa pagkakaiba ng dalawang number na yon and uh, we just let b be the second number and b okay be the second number second number Okay. From the first statement, the square of the certain of a certain number, so that's a. The square of a the square of a exceeds twice the square of another number by 1 over 8. Exceeds twice the square of another number by 1 over 8. Ibig sabihin mas malaki si a squared kay Twice nung square nung kabila, which is twice the square of b. Twice the square of b. b squared times 2. Mas mataas si a squared than 1 over 8. So if we subtract this, if a squared, uh, a squared minus 2b squared is equal to 1 over 8. Okay? The square of a certain number exceeds twice the square of another number by 1 over 8. So when we subtract a squared and 2b squared, the answer is 1 over 8. And this will be our first equation. Okay? So I'll just label it as 1. First equation. And then, the sum of their squares is 5 over 16. So the sum of their squares is a squared plus b squared is equal to 5 over 16. Okay, so this is your second equation. So idea is to, to find the values of A and B. So for this case, I think the best method to use is by um, elimination by addition because if we're just going to multiply this second equation by 2 and then add it to the first equation, makakancel na yung B squared. So let's do that. So we have, um, I'll copy, I'll solve it on this side. So we have A squared minus 2b squared is equal to 1 over 8. And then I'm going to multiply so the second equation by 2. So we have 2a squared plus 2b squared is equal to um, 5 over 16 times 2 is 5 over 8. Is it 5 over 8? Yes. Now, depende sa inyo ha, kasi pwede rin nyo i I-subtract na lang yung first equation sa so second equation or second equation sa so first equation so that you can cancel out a squared. Okay, pwede rin yun. Para hindi na kayo magmumultiply ng 2. But for this, let's try this method na, na i-eliminate natin si b squared. So, if we add the two equations, we will have 3a squared. So, clearly, makakancel out na yung b squared. This is equivalent to 1 over 8 plus 5 over 8 is 6 over 8. 6 over 8, or this is equivalent to 3, sorry, 3 over 4. So 3a squared is equal to 3 over 4. Now, how do we solve this? We can uh, divide everything by 3 or multiply everything by 1 third. So we can do that. So let's multiply everything by 1 third. So, 1 third, multiply this by 1 third, and then let's multiply this side also by 1 third. So, we can cancel out 3, so we're left with a squared 
So we're left with a squared is equal to 1 over 4. 1 over 4. And then get the uh, root of both sides. So we have a is equal to plus and minus, plus or minus 1 half. Okay. Now, so, so we were able to get two values for a. Dalawa yung kay a. So solve naman natin si b using any of the two equations. So I think we can use the second one, second equation. So, um, using, sec using the second equation, we're going to use equation number two. That is a squared plus b squared is equal to 5 over 16. And let's substitute one half first. Okay, let's substitute one half for a. If a is equal to positive one half, if a is equal to positive one half, then it's one half squared plus b squared is equal to 5 over 16. 1 half squared is 1 fourth. So we have 1 fourth plus b squared is equal to 5 over 16. And then we need to transpose this to the other side. So we have b squared is equal to 5 over 16 minus 1 fourth. So 5 over 16 minus 1 fourth, you can change 1 fourth into a uh, fraction and denominator a16. That is by multiplying this by... Uh, by 4 over 4, so that is 5 over 16 minus, so let me have a scratch work here. That's 5 over 16 minus 1 fourth uh, will now become 4 over 16. So 5 minus 4 is 1 over 16. So I have b squared is equal to 1 over 16. And again, uh, if we get the root of both sides, b is equal to plus or minus 1 over 4. So, for this case, we can pair one half with plus one fourth or um, minus one fourth. So we were able to to find um, one half and uh, plus one fourth, and then the other one is uh, one half, and then we have negative one fourth. Anyway, we don't have any restriction dun sa values ng a at B, wala naman sinabi dito na positive dapat daw si A and B and uh, negative ba dapat and so and so. So, we can accept one half and one fourth or one half and negative one fourth. Now, let's try how, what, what, how about if A is negative one half. Okay. So, if, uh, let me solve over here in the middle. If A is equal to negative one half, let's use again uh, b a squared plus b squared plus 5 over 16. a squared plus b squared is equal to 5 over 16. Now, let's substitute a uh, negative 1 half on a. So, that will become um, negative 1 half squared plus b squared is equal to 5 over 16. And this will become 1 fourth plus b squared is equal to 5 over 16. If you'll notice, kamukha lang niya yung this side, ah, sorry, this one, magkamukha lang siya. Magkamukha lang niya to. Okay? So, we're expecting na, ang sagot din ito, i plus and minus one-fourth. Tama? Kasi this will become, I will transpose one-fourth to the other side, so that b squared is equal to um, 5 over 16 minus one-fourth and that will become um, 1 over 16. And then get the root of both sides. And then B is equal to plus or minus 1 over 4. Therefore, A, which is negative 1 half, can be paired with plus 1 fourth or negative 1 fourth. Let me have the final answer over on this side because we were able to find the natin and um, the other two possible answers are negative 1 half. One fourth, and then the other one is uh, what's this? Negative one half, negative one fourth, and there you go. Let's okay. We'll try to uh, check this using GeoGebra. Okay, I'll open GeoGebra here, and then let's check whether we will arrive on this answers. One fourth, one half, one fourth. A combinations of plus minus one half and plus minus one fourth. 
So let's go back to the original equations and then we'll open GeoGebra. For this, I'm going to replace A by X. So it will become X squared minus 2Y squared equals 1 over 8. And then we have um, X squared plus Y squared. It's a second equation. Equals 5 over 16. And we have a circle and a hyperbola. Clearly, apat yung intersections nila. And we're going to check for the intersections. We're going to click for the hyperbola and then the circle. And I think I made a mistake on, yeah, 1 over 8. Sorry, you should have a 2 there. 2, yes. So here's our equation, this one, and we have this one, negative 0 0.5. So it's a combination of plus minus one half and plus minus one fourth, which uh, com confirms our answer over here, this one.